Okay, today I'm gonna do a quick parts update. Um, I took apart a motion activated light thing for outside. Uh, here's a picture of it. Um, but basically, uh, it got water in it or something and it broke. I, I don't know. When, whatever happened, I decided to take it apart and see what I could get out of it. So. Here are all the parts that I found. A lot of them inside, and they were all very good and useful. So, here's what some of them were. There was a photocell, a sensor of some sort, three transistors, an IC, all sorts of capacitors, almost every type, two potentiometers with knobs, there is also several diodes of different types, 30 different, capa or 30 different resistors roughly, uh, let's see, and also a nice 24 volt relay, or it's activated by 24 volts, and uh, let's see if I can find the specs, there we go, activated by 24 volts, you can't read that, but, uh, and it'll switch 120 volts AC at 5 amps, nice relay, it would probably cost a couple of bucks to go to Radio Shack and buy one easy, so, this is why I highly recommend salvaging parts, because there's all sorts of stuff inside that I can use for future projects now. Everything in here probably has a use of some sort. Maybe that sensor has, an, I don't know, some of this stuff has weird pinouts. The transistors are probably just small signal NPN. The IC is probably a comparator of some sort. Uh, photo cell, pretty easy to use. Capacitors and all the passive components, easy. I'm thinking uh, something where you switch high power. I don't know. All sorts of stuff. Potentiometers. Just everything here. Very useful. Highly recommend salvaging, salvaging parts. And, uh, yeah, here's why. It took me less than an hour to get all these parts. And this is, if you went out and bought these at Radio Shack, it'd be 40 50 bucks easy. So, there you have it. Salvaging parts really does pay off.